Hey everyone, this is Sarah from saradesign.com and today I'm going to talk to you about some resources online that you can use to create yourself a logo. Because let's be honest, when you're first starting out in your business, you can't afford to spend thousands of dollars on hiring a, an official logo designer to create something specifically for you. So you really just need to start out small and, and get something up there so you look professional but uh, don't spend a ton of money. So the first three sites I'm going to show you, you can actually create a logo on the fly, kind of see how it looks, and then if you like it, you can download it for whatever price they have. And then the last three I'll show you are sites where you can hire people to do the work for you, or you can get a template. So the first site is graphicsprings.com. It's a free logo maker. If we click on this button, create a logo in one minute or less, we can see how it works. All right, now we're into a designer screen. It's asking me some questions, like my business name. For my business name on these, I'm going to call myself Sarah Design Vinyl. Hit next. Images. I think we're going to go with a floral. So I'll click on floral. Let's just pick your logo, and here we go. All right, so here's a few options. Go to the next screen. There's a couple more there. Um, I kind of liked the previous screen. There's one that kind of looked like a this one. It has kind of a yoga look to it, but still is cute. All right, so I could go in here and I could click on the icon and change the color. Let's say I want it to be some neat shade of blue. That's cool. And my name. I could also make blue. Why not? Let's just keep it simple to start. And the thickness actually is kind of a nice balance for the icon, but if we wanted to play with the fonts in there, we would just go to this drop down above and start just picking a few. And seeing how they look. That one's not bad. Let's select it and make it a little bit bigger. This is pretty easy to figure out. I don't think you need any design skills to do this. You hit download your logo. And it tells you everything that's included, what you get, high res files that are transparent in multiple sizes and formats for $39.99 if you buy it now. And you can edit the logo after purchase if you want. So, not too bad. Next one we're going to look at is With Oomph. And it looks like some pricing here is a screen logo is $30, a print logo is $60, screen and print is $75. So, similar onboarding here. Enter your company name, Sarah Design Final Keyword. Let's say Floral Design. All right, so it pops up a few choices here. I don't know how floral brings up a big square, but that's okay. Uh, what if we change floral to flower? Uh, I am not blown away by this. I'm not sure I would be happy with any of these. I guess I could possibly do this one. Um, can I? So I can pick. Yeah, I guess I could do if I was in a pinch. What's this slider? What does that do? Oh, it just goes through the colors. But I liked that one. Next. Oh, cool. It shows you how it looks on a bunch of products. Well, now it looks official, doesn't it? This makes me want to buy it. <laughs> Good job, with Oomph. Talking me into it. All right. So the screen high res ping would be 30 bucks. And some other options. Okay. So with Oomph is, is an okay choice. Hipster logo. Now, obviously, if you don't have a 
hipster vinyl business, then this isn't the one for you. But I think this will just be fun to try out, just for the heck of it. So let's say we wanted this little uh, laurel shape. We hit next. Add some swag. <laughs> Coffee beans, a bicycle. Um, what's this little curvy guy? Yeah, it looks okay. Next, personalize it. Let's see, triple line. How about we say Sarah Design Vinyl? And what logos and what fonts can we choose from? That one's kind of fun. Let's hit next. Um, logo color. About teal and a darker. Darker teal. Same one. Maybe I would change that back to black. All right. And generate logo. I only got a three out of five on the hipstometer. Oh well. I'm not as hipstery as I'd like. But you can see I can download us uh, in ping format at various sizes. 600 by 500 is free. 2400 by 2000 is five bucks. And the SVG version at that large size is also five dollars. All right, next choice. So these last three, I won't be designing anything on the spot, but I just wanted to make you aware. If you haven't heard of 99designs.com, it's an interesting site where you buy in for three hundred dollars, two ninety nine, and then you submit your design needs to a group. Of designers and they all compete to win the project so you get to see a whole bunch of designs to choose from and then you can narrow it down and and finalize and and pick your favorite so there's some cool looking logos that can come out of this like the shoe fly one super cute if I was looking for that if that had been my design that I was searching through I think I definitely would have picked that they had 276 submissions, and the guy Daniel M collaborated with 32 designers before choosing his favorite logo. Pretty cool. Then there's Fiverr. If you hadn't heard of Fiverr, it's a just really, really cheap site where you can buy projects. They're called gigs, and they usually come in $5 increments. Um, these are designers and, and people from around the world that are selling these things and it's really it's there's no guarantee what kind of uh, service you're gonna get how well they'll communicate with you the quality there's just not a lot of guarantees at all uh, but if you are needing something very fast for very cheap this is a potential place to go I have noticed that some of these designs look very familiar to me like I'm pretty sure that they found them on the next site that I'm going to show you, which is Creative Market, where you can buy templates of badges and logos all in a big pack. So let's go there next. So this is creativemarket.com, and I had just done a search for logo design. And you can see there's a big, wide variety of designs in here. And see this one? So logo designs for photographers. It's a bunch of different badge-shaped uh, logos. This is the kind of, of file, it's only $7, that I can totally see someone on Fiverr buying and then selling each one individually for $5 a piece. So it actually, if you're shopping from Creative Market, it pays to have access to Illustrator, specifically, and, and Photoshop at least, and in some cases Photoshop Elements will do. I think that if I was shopping on the spot for my vinyl business, I would be very attracted to this feminine looking photography font. Louisa K. Photography. Come on.
comes with a free font. And you can change colors. Looks like, oh, the PSD is layered and can be edited in Photoshop or Elements. So you could definitely um, use this if you just have Photoshop Elements. So that's a few resources that you, know, you can jot down for when you are designing a logo for your business. And good luck to you. See you in the next video.